What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday, May 18th. Uh, it is a awesome Wednesday over here in St. Louis. Beautiful day outside. Had a really solid day overall. But we are here to celebrate something. As you all can tell by the uh, the video, you clicked on it, right? <laughs> Hopefully set the reminder, uh, notifications, all that good stuff. But uh, it's time to celebrate. We, we just crossed a crazy milestone of 25. Not, not, not 20 you know, to 2000 subscribers, which is great. I remember when I hit that milestone, you know, not 2,500, which was great when I hit that milestone, but 25,000 subscribers. That is insane to me. I can't even really fathom that people like my videos, like what I have to say about things, or maybe they don't. Maybe they like to watch my videos and disagree with me, whatever the case may be. 25,000 of you all amazing people have joined the community, uh, have subbed to this community, and have been a part of this journey. 2017, September 9th, I want to say, it was the official day back in 2017 when I started this channel. And boy, it has seen its days, you know, it's uh, from, you know, the small amount of numbers from viewership to, you know, you grow, you meet new people, you, you know, discover new things, you experiment, and it, and it leads to this point, and hopefully, obviously, we continue to grow, but I'm just so thankful uh, to hit this milestone and, and to have built this community up into this point, and again, many more things to come in the future, uh, but I'm just so appreciative of you all, and that's what we're doing tonight, we're celebrating, we're talking about, uh, you know, the beginnings and, and where the channel has gone, where, where I wanted to go, you know, answering any questions for you all. By no means do I consider myself a, a YouTube expert by any means. But if you guys have any questions about, you know, behind the scenes or like how to do this, how to do that, again, no expert. But if you have any questions pertaining to that growth or, you know, anything of that nature, uh, I am here to answer those questions. And, and we're talking, you know, this is a, a, a channel built on reviews for movies and shows. So we're going to be talking about some recent movie news, uh, you know, Star Wars fans out there. We got a variety fair uh, that came out yesterday with some really dope photos and some really interesting tidbits that came out of that as well. Uh, you know, the boys coming out two weeks i want to say june 3rd you know we got a new trailer for that uh echo for my mcu fans we got that and then for more marvel fans out there just the other day a little trailer came out by the name of she hulk so we'll we will be talking about all that stuff and of course <clears throat> answering any questions you all have about any other movie news tv news whatever the case may be this is a fun night i'm excited to be here with you all chopping it up having a good time celebrating this milestone but also just catching up with you all so with that being said we got what 26 people that tuned in live and hopefully we can get some other people trickling in uh throughout the night dropping their comments and questions and all that fun stuff but uh let's see who we got in the chat so far let me scroll up let, let me scroll up we got uh tyrian rain reload i appreciate it bro uh hope you're doing well uh we, we gotta link up sometimes Tyrian. i've seen you know you've come through i think atlanta was when i first kind of saw your name uh, i looked up your channel great community you're building touching on a lot of like serious important topics so we, we gotta uh, link up sometime Tyrian. uh but appreciate you stopping through man i appreciate the love uh yo yo congrats hey i appreciate it appreciate it uh maxine cheers I, you know i don't got any alcohol but i got a little little something something in my batman <laughs> drink here but cheers appreciate the love uh discuss harley how we doing i appreciate you stopping by uh d movie man what's going on bro um let's see my friend what are your major goals you had for your channel uh when you first started <clears throat> How many of them have you accomplished since then? Well, this is a great question. Jumping right in, uh, D Movie Man. Well, one of the first goals was uh, building some type of consistency, right? It is so easy to fall into something and then fall out of it when you don't get the results you're looking for, whether that's viewership, subscribers, this, that, and the third. So it was just no matter what the numbers were, whatever the outcome was or whatever video I put out during that time, it was just consistently putting it out, right? And that's something that I have, that was a major goal, was just kind of building that consistency. So um, that's an accomplishment because if you all have been following this channel for a while, um, I would say for probably the last, man, I remember the date like it was yesterday. It was in October of 2019 after, right around the, when the Joker came out. I said to myself, it was 2019 in the fall Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus were, were coming out. And I was like, you know what? And I've covered shows on my channel prior to that, like Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, um, some other HBO shows. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it a point 
to cover shows, number one, that I enjoy, <laughs> and number two, shows that people are enjoy as well. So I want to bring more TV reviews. I want to dive more into not just the big blockbusters, like I mentioned, The Joker, but like I want to dive more into the more obscure stuff that I like, horrors, you know, rom-coms, you know, streaming stuff like I just mentioned. So that was uh, something I really want to add. So again, consistency, covering more stuff that I love and been doing it more on a consistent basis were goals that I had that I've accomplished. And I have many other goals to definitely uh, to, to conquer uh, throughout this YouTube journey. So D-Movie Man, great question again guys if you have questions like that um any other questions regarding to uh the youtube space uh again not an expert but how to do this how to grow this how to you know little things like that if you guys have questions about that i'll do my best to try to answer it uh what do we have here <clears throat> barry love that show barry doesn't get enough love man it's it's so frustrating <laughs> that a lot of people aren't watching one of the best shows on tv which i consider to be barry uh in atlanta yeah uh atlanta yeah i um i have seen the 10th episode the finale uh 30 plus minute long <laughs> video on that uh coming soon and uh yeah so i appreciate the support there and I, i'm glad you like those shows just as much as i do uh we got some love coming in here with the super chats uh silver scale now correct me if i'm wrong silver scale i believe when i brought up 2019 is that when you kind of found my channel because i think when we when i was covering still do cover um c the jason momoa show i think we were communicating about that show uh in night Shyamalan's um servant it, it, it was around that time correct me if i'm wrong but neither here nor there three plus years or not uh the support that you have always given this channel i thank you so much i'm so glad you're able to join in tonight uh and showing the love with the super chat congrats on 25k um <clears throat> will deserve it more might not stay the whole time that's fine catching up um catching you early thanks for the great work well thank you again like i said I, if i'm not mistaken if you're still here silver let me know and, and this goes for everyone in the chat if you remember of course <clears throat> what was the video whether it was a movie review tv review whatever the case may be or you know another thing i had mentioned was you know being able to meet other youtubers um what was that video that you saw me on that was like you know what let's let's check this elliot from movie files out and what kept you around for this uh portion of time i would love to know that but silver scale thank you for the love appreciate the super chat uh hope you're doing well and uh thank you thank you thank you we got congrats oh thank you so much tony movie chappy hope you're doing well uh thank you for stopping by how are you doing uh zeal latrice uh, drop my thank you so much i appreciate you uh let's go congrats go we'll go that's a hey, hey hey i ain't no goat you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm trying to build to that you know level of uh uh, uh success if you want to call it that but i appreciate the kind words right <laughs> thank you so much um vera morris another person um that has been huge uh a part of this community love seeing your comments on all the different reviews that you've watched movie reviews <coughs> excuse me uh tv reviews and it just means a lot so uh i appreciate you as well and thank you for the uh what is that bells uh clapping flowers uh a little tear hey thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you much love much love uh tony congrats 25k well thank you tony tony uh discussing harley showing some love with the super chat i am proud of the my, i'm proud of this milestone you deserve it i enjoy all the content keep the great work keep up the great work well discuss harley you keep up the great work as well i know you have your youtube challenge you're just starting uh and i look forward to seeing your channel continue to grow and and all the great stuff you have to say on the different movies movies and shows that you enjoy uh and and also if i'm not mistaken congratulations you just graduated if i'm not mistaken as well correct me if i'm wrong there but i'm pretty sure you did graduate which again congratulations to you and, and much love to you as well and nothing but the, the best for you uh, outside of youtube in youtube wherever it may be uh thank you so much harley and uh thank you for the super chat as well what do we got uh we got b in here showing some love what's going on to you let's see let's see we got so much love going on, man. I didn't bring any tissues, man. Y'all being so grateful. <laughs> no, I appreciate y'all. Um, let's see. Pretty lady, congratulations. I really enjoy <clears throat> your platform, how you analyze the things you watch. Well, I appreciate that. I, I always, my approach to YouTube is, uh, it's not, you know, rocket science, but I always want to 
talk to you all in regards to let's just pretend we're on a couch we're chilling we're talking movies we're talking shows and it's just like you're talking to your friend that's how i approach it you know and i respect the hell out of a lot of my um other youtube buddies and just other youtube people that i i look up to that do like the super deep analytical um <clears throat> you know video essays and and, and and indian explains those to me are just another craft within itself and you know I, i've dabbled in that every now and then but like i said my approach to youtube is just kind of this a uh, kickback fun having a good time you know throwing in some terminologies that i remember from going to school for film, film and video but also just having a good time right so i appreciate uh, that you appreciate how I like um, tackle things and you know uh, bring things to the table so I appreciate that uh, congrats thank you thank you thank you um, what kind of camera and computer do you use so listen this is another little tip here a little YouTube tip I I'm not fancy I am not fancy y'all one day I would hope to use uh, to make this, you know, I think I mentioned it before, like a permanent, you know, full-time gig. But I'm using my Surface Pro 4 uh, and, and a webcam that's attached to that. And I do have a webcam that I've been like messing around with. It's like a 1080 or 4K uh, camera um, that I just haven't really like sat down and really played around the settings and all that different stuff. So I say all that to say simple computer surface 4 which i need to buy a new one because this computer has had has seen <laughs> better days i had this what was it 2018 i think i bought this uh and it's done its job it's mobile i use it mostly for work uh which i'm on the go a lot for work so it's handy there but as far as like the youtube space it does what it it does the job uh but yes i, I again i say all that to say you don't need a fancy camera computer uh you know software to start a youtube channel you can start from your phone, your tablet, your computer, whatever the case may be. So, um, but yes, like I said, I ain't fancy over here, y'all. Y'all know from just my, my background, my videos, it's like, where are you at? You know, are you like, are you been held captive? Are you kidnapped right now? What basement are you in? So one day, I promise, one day, the, uh, the quality of the channel um, will definitely kind of, the production will go a little bit up once I can really kind of make this something that I want to do, which is full time. But in the meantime, I hope you all just enjoy what I have to say versus, you know, all the other stuff that can make, you know, videos really great. And, and I appreciate people that um, have the most fire pre presentation, whether it's their cameras and their backgrounds and all this stuff. Uh, so one day, one day, uh, like appreciate it. We're speaking of quality, great personality. Um, a great <clears throat> content creator uh, in his own right, this gentleman here. Q Reviews, what's going on, Q? Uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Q has his own YouTube channel, and it is, uh, I, you, so the crazy thing about Q, we have been kind of, you know, interacting on and offline since I started my channel. Like, he's one of the OGs, and I can say that, and I'm happy to be someone that knows Q has seen his growth uh and seen all the great things that he's doing man so shout out to q uh yo e congrats on sweet fight k you came up homie like i said man it's been uh since 2017 since i've been uh you know chopping it up with q and i really appreciate the the friendship and the, like i said online and offline that we've interacted with throughout the years i've had q on the channel for watch alongs and discussions and we got to get back to more watch alongs and discussions in the future q because I'm, I'm a big fan of not only you as like i said a great content creator and great opinions on movies and shows especially horror you know we're big horror fans q but uh it, it means a lot that you're just as a doper individual right you're you're a cool dude q so i appreciate the love and support man and hope you and your family are doing good man uh let's see here man in the comment section she hulk <clears throat> we'll talk about she hulk we will talk about she hulk in a little bit <laughs> uh oh no doubt whenever you're real yeah man hey we got to chop it up um Tyran, rather, um, I think we follow each other on Twitter. Yeah, we gotta we gotta link up in the DMs, man. Find some project to talk about. Um, from what I gathered on your on your platform, I know you dive into the DC, the Marvel stuff. So we gotta find some. Even not even that, you know, Atlanta. I know you watch Atlanta too. So we gotta find some Tyran to, to link up on and, and uh, do some uh, some some collabs, man. Uh, you mentioned that you were a Chicago Bulls fan. Were you born? So I, I was. A, I so I'm from Chicago. To answer your question, yes, I'm born and raised in Chicago up to the age of uh, when did I move from Chicago? Uh, Nineteen or twenty? Um, right, right around that time. But prior to that, grew up. You know, like I said, in Chicago. Um, I was, you know, inherently a Bulls fan growing up in the '90s. 
MJ, Scotty, uh, Scotty, you know, Phil Jackson and them doing their damn thing. But I, I didn't really fall in love with basketball until I was like close to 10, 11, which, you know, I'm, I'm a Lakers fan at that. Kobe fan first. And I just inherently became a Lakers fan just because Kobe spent his whole career there. But no, I like the Bulls. I was rooting for them. I always root for them. I always know what's going on. Um, tough out in this year is that they got a nice team they got a promising um <clears throat> young backcourt with zach levine and uh lonzo uh the rosen was balling this year i tell you uh so yeah I'm a, I'm a bulls fan but um right now i would say as far as sports go i'm more of a casual checking in knowing who's who who's winning uh i like the warriors i've been and i'm not a bandwagoner I, i've been liking the warriors since i want to say 20 whenever what was the year that stuff Steph got drafted in 2009, and I really started following his career like 2011. So, because I just love a great shooter, so uh, I've, I've been a fan of theirs for a while, and I love their style of play. Which going back to Chicago, Steve Kerr, triangle offense, they move the ball. I, you know, sports is another passion of mine. It's movies, shows, and then sports. So I can talk that all all day. Was a long answer, long winded. Um, <clears throat> we got people saying what's up to each other. All right, let's see. My boy, Mike, what's going on, man? Speaking of sometimes you've been killing the damn thing man going out to the premiere of dr strange a couple weeks ago uh which i know this wasn't a a, a a youtube thing but you were in Amsterdam doing your damn thing with your work so shout out to mike black gay comic geek um <clears throat> this man is a psychopedia when it comes to comics uh but also uh you know people being represented you know people that uh from the lgbtq community people that you know obviously people of color he just touches on so many things he's just such a dope dude so check him out as well uh again we got a, a lot of youtubers on the on the stream now again from q tyrian uh as well as my man mike from uh black and camel geek so grass my boy i'm still beefing for the uh we'll, we hey we're gonna be talking about echo a little bit later mike so uh stick around man <laughs> wish i've been around from the got uh vids went up yeah uh they're <laughs> listen that was i covered the final season I, i'm game of thrones is one of my top tier shows ever i don't care what people say about season seven and eight i remember season one to six being flawless in my opinion and even there was still some good stuff in those two seasons but yeah i i, I uh, did cover game of thrones it was my second year on youtube and uh I, you know one thing i'm looking forward to this year and, and it made my most anticipated uh shows of 2022 house of dragons <sighs> listen I am so excited for that show. I cannot wait to learn more about, uh, you know, the Targaryens and uh, the beginnings of the Starks and obviously the land. Well, not the beginnings. This takes place 200 years prior to the Game of Thrones when the show was on. So very excited for this show. Definitely expect some coverage for that. But yes, uh, Game of Thrones. I can't wait to get back into that universe. Uh, what's going on, Walter Jackson? Always enjoy your reviews, brother. Uh, thank uh, looking. Uh, Look, okay, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you for the quality content. I appreciate you, uh, Walter. Hope you and your wife are doing good. Always uh, hitting up the comments. You guys like horror films just like me, so I, I love that stuff, man. Uh, Tyrion says, I found your channel via Just My Opinion. So that's another great individual that I've come across. I have actually was a fan of Brandon prior to us kind of linking up uh, last year, mostly during the pandemic. Uh, one of the few, you know, when you're on YouTube, I always, I love everyone men women black white puerto rican asian but sometimes when you're looking for content creators you're like you want to see your own right so i, I looked up you know i found came across brandon a, a black content creator and had a lot of great stuff was building his community and i was able to like i said uh interact with him a lot last year uh being on his show uh, quite a few times and we built a pretty cool friendship you know we talk on and offline about various different things so yeah i'm, I'm glad i was able to uh you know link up with Brandon and in return, I got a great, uh, you know, hopefully uh, a person I can link up with in the future in Tyrion. So I love the, the way the YouTube sphere work uh, when you link up with some awesome people. Uh, Silver Skill says, yes, I think uh, Lovecraft Crash under it before. Like, yeah, of course, of course. I try my best because I, it, 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 like, I, I don't, I'm not BSing when I say it means a lot to have this community that I've built. And I remember a lot of people from the beginning. I remember the comments and the, the you all sharing your personal um, stories with certain projects that I've covered. So, yeah, that I, I I don't take you all for granted. So, yeah, I remember a lot of you all. My memory is not the greatest sometimes with some things. But when things like this, when building this community, I remember a lot of the, the day oneers and people that I've you know recently linked up with that uh, support the channel. So, yeah, it's always something that I appreciate. 
Uh, let's see, Cat uh, Harlem. What TV do you enjoy watching versus reviewing? What TV do you enjoy watching versus reviewing? Oh, okay, what like what show did I watch? Um, it may be don't review maybe i don't know correct me if i'm wrong uh it could be ones you're not reviewing um congrats thank you thank you um it's rare <laughs> for me to watch something without reviewing it just because i do have like a certain schedule the way i like to work things out but um man what was something it was something too like within the last year that i watched and I, I didn't review it and i enjoyed it this is going to kill me. This is going to kill me. It was probably something on Apple TV because they have so much great stuff that sometimes people just don't watch. I have to come back to it. But to answer your question, there are some things. It's very rare, but there are sometimes I watch a movie, watch a show uh, that I enjoy that I just didn't have the time to review. There are a lot of times I watch a lot of movies and shows that I don't enjoy, and I just don't like to number one, it doesn't stick with me and I don't have much to add to the conversation when I don't enjoy it. And plus, I don't like to talk about too much stuff I don't enjoy. I like to talk about stuff I do enjoy. But yeah, hope that answers your question, uh, Kat, and I appreciate you stopping by. Got to watch the replay. Uh, never, Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate you stopping through. Hey, we did it. Hey, I appreciate it. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Um, here we go. Tell us about your favorite theaters to watch movies and why. Um, well, out here in St. Louis, there are only two theaters I go to. Uh, AMC, there's one um, not too far from me, like 20 minutes away. It's not a like a great theater. It's just close to home, <laughs> which is always great, especially with gas prices being ridiculous as they are. Uh, but there is a theater that it goes by the name of Ronnie's. Uh, I can't think of the full name. It's like Ronnie's something, something, something. It's a really cool theater. Like they have like super cool, uh, high tech, um, you know, seating. They have the 4DX. They have great IMAX screens. It's just a great atmosphere. So I really, uh, I really enjoy going to screeners and going to shows there. Uh, but one of my favorite theaters probably was, you know, growing up in Chicago, going to uh, Navy Pier and going to the IMAX there. That's that was cool. Um, I used to live in New York for a little bit. There wasn't really too many cool theaters that I necessarily remember there, but it was one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I think out in New York, there was Cine Cinemark. I think it was the name of their theaters. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a, I love movie theaters. And it, it was uh, crazy. You, you know, you never heard me say it, but I said it some, sometimes that I was during the pandemic last year. I was just like, hey, man, I'm good with watching stuff at home. But no, nah, man, going back to the theater experiencing you know the movies that we've gotten since uh things have been you know the restrictions have been lifted it's, it's like theaters are just the greatest especially being a big fan of movies like i am uh congratulations been fun wow 2019 was love no 2020 was lovecraft yes the fall of november thank you so much for uh being a part of the community for that long ah. Lovecraft Country. Come on, HBO. Someone pick up Lovecraft. I mean, I think at this point, Misha Green, uh, obviously Jonathan Majors, Journey Smollett, uh, Woman Mushaku, Pat, you know, uh, Michael K. Williams unfortunately passed away. Um, I don't know if we'll ever get a season two. But I didn't think we were going to get a Snyder cut. So <laughs> never say never, right? I, man, I, I, Lovecraft Country was such a fire show. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Sean Don, what's going on, man? Kevin, uh, your Atlanta reviews is always on point. Keep up the great work, my brother. I'm going to start watching Barry because Barry, listen, everyone in this chat right now, Barry is such a great show. It's on HBO, so number one, it's HBO. Come on. Do I need to explain more? The resume speaks for themselves. Number two, it stars Bill Hader. Uh, you all might know Bill Hader from uh, SNL. Um, Movie-wise, he was in Trainwreck, and he was also in the It Chapter 2. Uh, great guy. I think he's hilarious, but he is fantastic. Just to give you all a brief synopsis, synopsis of Barry. Barry, and I don't want to give too much away because it's, it's an element of surprise to the story, but he is a, he's a hitman. And he um, is manipulated by a certain individual and to do these hits, sort of, kind of. And you'll, when you see the show, you'll understand what I mean by that. But he goes to L.A. to do a hit job. Things happen and he, begets, he gets caught up in this acting class. And this hitman wants to now become an actor. And just think of like... I don't want to say Dexter because I don't really think it has it has some Dexter similarities because you're seeing this person trying to get away with murder and not trying to get caught and stuff like that, which has it just 
Dexter vibes. Uh, but unlike Dexter, it's actually like a satire comedy. Uh, it's 30 minutes per episode, which is super short. Uh, there's two, there's three seasons. The third season just started four weeks ago, but there's, uh, you know, three seasons thus far. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's one of the best shows on TV. Like, I love Barry. It had a hi hiatus for about three years, like a lot of shows did. Uh, but it's back on for season three, and I can't recommend it enough. So if you all, you know, you know, buy it with me on my reviews and my tastes and shows, I think you guys would like Barry a lot. Uh, and if you check it out, uh, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, how do you remember all this? Uh, mine, like, I, I, I pff, that's not not always, I'll tell you that. But I try to, you know, things like I said that, that I'm passionate about, I, I tend to remember. But man, Taze Take, another great content creator, but also a great homie offline as well. Me and Taze, uh, me and Taze Take, Chris from Taze Take, another, like I said, check him out, guys. He's phenomenal. Um, I'm trying to remember the first thing we did. I think it was a watch along. I reached out to, man, it was, I think it was a watch along. And I don't think it was that <laughs> Wonder Woman 84 when I think it was something before that. It was Spider Man. Spider Man Far From Home. Um, we did a, I think that was the first time we collabed when I was doing like watch alongs like a madman during the pandemic. I was doing watch alongs like every weekend, which was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, Chris super cool dude great content creator uh if you all watch my, my marvel uh, weekly show he's one of my co-hosts as well as amanda from candid cinema um two great people man i love uh chopping it up with them and hopefully we can link back up maybe next month or the month after to discuss more mcu stuff so uh but chris is here saying can't um can't miss a 25k party much love to the milestone i'll be here for 100k whatever man 100k for us both because you're growing your channel as well and, and just a great dude like i said and it covers a lot of stuff on his channel so i appreciate you chris appreciate you being a part of this channel man because you're, you're part of the growth too you you know you uh blessing the screen with your presence people love your energy you and amanda and me so you've helped grow this channel as well man so i appreciate you chris um <clears throat> did you see the new predator teaser trailer for prey if so what did you think about it uh yes i did see it Look, looks good um Help me on the chat, guys. I can't remember the director's name off top right now, but I know he directed 10 Cloverfield Lane, which I know a lot of people love that film. I thought it was okay. I, I, I liked it up until the twist where like they like forced it the Cloverfield universe stuff. But he's a good director, though. No, neither here nor there. I, I like the direction of that film, minus the decision that they put in there. But it looks interesting. You know, I know it takes place way back when. No guns, no bazookas, uh, no Arnold, <laughs> you ugly, son of, you know, none of that stuff. So we'll see. I'm going to, uh, it's on Hulu, so, you know, I'm going to check it out when it comes out. But the full trailer, that's when I really give uh, a little bit more insight on it. But right now, it looks, looks cool. It looks cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, for me, it was out of range. Uh, saw your land of reviews, hoping to see the man who failed to earth review. The man who failed to earth, is that the, uh, she had to edge your four, um, Naomi, her name's with me right now, but I think I know what you're talking about. I, I don't have Showtime, so uh, but let me know if it's uh, if it's good. But uh, thanks. Outer Range was fun until it wasn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, Outer Range was fun up until a point, and Atlanta is always great. So I appreciate the support there. Uh, let's see, M O'Neill. I watched. Um, I started watching your channel back in 2019. Wow, three years. Thank you so much, congrats, bro. Thank you uh, for being a part of the journey. Can we get a little more black show reviews? I e. Oh man, listen, Sean Don. Uh, I haven't watched Power. So the stuff I don't watch is because I don't have the the platform it's on. Number one, uh, Power. I don't have. I want to say that's on. Um, that's on Showtime. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm like seven seasons behind. I think Power had five seasons and they have like so many different spinoffs and whatnot. Um, I know Brandon, um, Lamont from uh, Just Gains and Larry and all of them cover that show. It's It has a good audience and I know a lot of people enjoy that. I just, it's daunting, especially with the stuff I already watched to add in it's eight seasons or something. It's going to be kind of hard, but Snowfall hurts good. Um, and that's on FX, which I know I, I don't have, I don't have cable, but I know it's on Hulu. So time, man, like I said, if, if this becomes what I want to be, which is a full-time opportunity, you know, shows like that. I might, you know, be able to add to the repertoire and add to the schedule, but it's just so many seasons I'm behind. But uh, I love covering black shows, man. I love, you know, again, Lovecraft Country, covering Atlanta, 
you know, covering different movies that might not get the attention I think they deserve. So yeah, I love, um, I love those type of things. I love, you know, I love everything, but in particular, shining a light on black content is always something I strive for. So yeah, I will one day, if we can find the time, if I can clone myself, if I can severance, which is another good show, if I can find a way to severance my Audi to watch some of those shows, then uh, that would be great. <laughs> uh mo what's going on mo yay congrats ellie mo uh for you all that don't know just going turning back the, the hands of time um was someone that started the channel with me when i started it uh unfortunately you know i was i put too much on her she couldn't keep up with all the movies and shows but neither here nor there she was someone that um that pushed me to go in this to start my channel. You know, I had a channel when I was in um, in college, wasn't consistent with it, but she was the one that kind of pushed me to get back into it because I always would talk movies and shows with her. And uh, like I said, she was, if you guys go back, she was on like the first, uh, first, first year and a half. She was consistently on the channel and I always appreciate her for that. Uh, and I appreciate her showing some love and, and, and stopping by. Hope you and Peyton are doing well. And uh, again, if it wasn't for, for Mo, I don't know what this channel would be, so I appreciate it. Hope you're doing good, Mo. Uh, congrats. Thank you so much. Uh, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I first saw your first saw you doing a movie review with Brandon. Uh, I enjoyed the way you analyzed the movie shows, and I watched your channel and had you guess with a uh, vastly different opinion. Oh, awesome. Again, Brandon is, is such has been such a great uh opportunity to link up with him and, and 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 gain uh some new subscribers based on you know working with him in the in the past and, and as well as in the future so thank you so much for uh for uh you know coming over and showing some love and support uh still mad about what you me both you me both <laughs> i was looking forward to collaborating again yeah we, we definitely have to uh yeah lovecraft was so so damn good so damn good uh let's see here wayne is saying i appreciate you man well thank you wayne i appreciate you um she hulk was good but no people talking about it give this yeah we'll, we'll get into that here in a little bit uh once we get done kind of <clears throat> answering any questions and all that good stuff we'll, we'll get into some movie news here in a second the man from earth is amazing people i heard I, if it's the one i'm thinking of i've heard it's, it's i haven't heard of much but i've heard the stuff i have heard heard is good things if it's a show i'm thinking of ah <sighs> nisi smith this person here um i feel like she's been around for forever and because i always just love seeing her little thumbnail and just the the awesome uh encouraging words she gives me uh you know in the comment section as thor is just being crazy oops but uh nc i appreciate you hope you're doing well uh thank you for the congratulations there um and i hope hope all is well but yeah so many so many great people have been a part of this community for a while and i appreciate you all you good thor the gucci all right he's good he's good guys uh it was uh, speaking of thor he's another person that uh, shout out to him he's he's always uh you know giving me tips and um what to watch what not to watch you know i, I appreciate thor's opinions <laughs> uh let's see here one of the hardest parts of running live shows with the live chat what is the, well what is the hardest part of running live shows with the, um it ain't easy i'll tell you that it's not easy especially when you're uh you know hosting trying to engage with if, if i'm fortunate enough to have guests engage with them um you know answering questions uh looking at the notes to make sure that i'm hitting on the points i want to bring up so it's not easy it's not you know again I don't want to, I don't want to make this seem like it's uh you know uh heart surgery or whatnot but it's a lot you know it's in, in regards to the, the confines of this platform but I have fun with it it's fun um it's it's a good time it's especially when you have a lot of good a good flow of the conversation going you got people <clears throat> interacting in the chat it's just it gets the adrenaline pumping which is always fun so it's not like I said it's not hard but it's also if you're um uh, doing so much like i said uh engaging in the community engaging in the chat engaging with your panel bringing pictures up touching on notes thinking of your own thoughts to add to the conversation so it's uh it's fun it's fun is the word <laughs> yep 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 we'll get to that we'll get to that for sure All right, the D movie man says, although you make it look easy, have there ever been any major difficulties or frustrations you've encountered on your YouTube journey? How did you overcome them? Yeah, man, it's it's a constant struggle to um to uh 
like I said, consistency, man. I obviously, like I said, I would love this to be a full time job, but it, it, it isn't. So, in that regards, I have a job, uh, multiple different um, things that I do, like side hustles and little uh, part time things that I do to keep the lights on. Um, so, it's just a matter of you know overcoming the scheduling man it's like finding time to watch a movie watch a show um review the show edit it thumbnails descriptions like it's a whole thing like literally like for example um i'll use atlanta for example so i watched atlanta the newest episode which is dropping tomorrow today and what i'd like to do because especially like a show like atlanta there's so many different uh, undertones and themes and topics and social commentary i try to find as many little things i can find in there you know and i try to watch it a couple times before i actually sit down and review it uh but sometimes the schedule doesn't allow it so um you know it's just a matter of just fitting in things making sure you have time to really you know give it all you can in a certain review and i try to make certain things uh not get the certain you know attention that it deserves regarding this like my intention like to truly break down something and not just kind of glance over it and forget things or whatever case may be so it's just finding that the time and balance which can be frustrating at time uh and then as far as uh outside of that that's like the biggest thing i can think of is just timing uh and when it comes to overcoming it, it's just schedule you got to get a schedule down packed as far as okay i got this movie coming out i got this coming up for work finding a way to carve out some time to watch this notes you know making all the notes shooting the video all that stuff so it's just a matter of scheduling so and that's just one i mean there's other many other different examples but that's the one that kind of comes to mind right now but i appreciate the great question there d uh movie man she hulk looked at, yeah we'll get we'll get into the she hulk in, in a bit because i definitely have some thoughts on that how did you learn so much about film movie tvs reviewing so knowledgeable well thank you um you know, I'm not the, the greatest reviewer by any means. Uh, but no, like I said, my whole approach is just talking to a friend, right? Someone came to me, hey, Elliot, what do you think about this movie? That's how I approach my reviews uh, in that matter. Um, and like I said, I don't consider myself super knowledgeable. But, um, you know, I did. And this doesn't mean anything. The fact that I went to, to, to school for film and video doesn't really, like make or break a youtuber you know if you didn't go to school for that you could be just as intelligent or, or articulate things just as better as someone that got a four-year degree uh you know or two-year degree in my case for going to film a video so uh but with that being said i just remember when i was in those classes is just appreciation of certain things like if you all watch my reviews especially for movies I'd, I'd make it a point to highlight like behind the scenes stuff just because I have had the opportunity to direct a film, edit a film, do sound design, do, um, you know, act in front of us. You know, I've, I've literally, when I went to school, like you have to do everything, write a film <clears throat> and all that different stuff. So even if I don't like a film or a show, I always try to just pull out some, you know, positive things from a production standpoint, visual effects, direction, cinematography, score, um, you know, stunt work, stuff like that. So, um, so to answer your question, going to school for that helped me kind of appreciate those things that might get glanced over sometimes. So yeah. Great question. Uh, what's Mike talking about? I found you on Griffin's Film Speak, uh, and now I watch you more than him, but I'm a big fan of you both. And yes, we got to talk about, yeah, man. Shout out to Griff, man. That's one of the people I was referring to earlier who I so appreciate the, the work that he put in on his videos because he he goes to work and he has a full-time gig, you know, as a, uh, you know, what he does out in LA and stuff like that. So man, Griff is a big fan of his. So happy to see his, him get the, the, um, the recognition he deserves because he's always been such a great content creator and I love what he's doing on his channel and I love the attention he's getting because he deserves it, man. Griff is such a cool dude. Uh, but yes, I remember linking up. That was another person I linked up with in the pandemic. Uh, was fortunate enough to go on. He had a, he used to do a, um, like a, a a movie show where we would talk movie news and i was uh you know we we really linked we we had a good chemistry and he uh, had me on for different after shows that he was hosting during that time excuse me we did um uh, lovecraft uh, mandalorian season two um and a couple other stuff so yeah man griff is, is a super cool dude and i'm glad we were really, you were able to see me on his platform and uh you still obviously like i said watch his platform uh but yeah griff's a good dude man uh, he's a super cool dude i gotta link up with him soon and find something to uh to collab on but yeah he's a great dude and yeah we have to talk about she-hulk 
We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about she. No, we'll talk about that uh, when we get to that portion of tonight's live stream, uh, which will be in a little bit uh, for sure. Question: The Purple Circle. Um, what do you think that modern black filmmakers are missing in their films and storytelling? Um, missing. I don't know if they're missing thing. I, I know that we're they're missing from opportunities sometimes, right? Where you don't see as many black filmmakers, men or women, um, that you know have great stories to tell, not get an opportunity to tell those stories. But in particular, to the ones that we do get, I don't know if there's anything really missing. Um, besides, like I said, just the backing of the studios and the support from the studios that you know their white counterparts might get. But, um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't really have any thoughts on what what our modern black filmmakers are missing. You know, Ava DuVernay's um, comes to mind. Obviously, the great Spike Lee is still doing his thing. Um, so many great the, the I can't think of his name, but the gentleman that did uh, the Heart of They Fall recently. Um, you know, Stephen McKnight is a great director that I think of right now. Of course, Jordan Peele from a horror fans. Um, Oh man, what's my man's name? Um, who did uh, Jesus? If Bill Street can talk, his face is right in my head right now. <laughs> I, I, I gotta look him up. But yes, um, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can answer that question. I can't think of anything that they're missing besides just getting the opportunities that are um, that should be given to them to tell the different stories and tell uh black stories black experience but also tell sci-fi stories comedies romance because we, we barry jenkins um you know we enjoy all that stuff too so uh the only thing i can think of is just they're missing the opportunities to not get the platforms to be able to tell incredible stories uh i love the energy you and brandon have yeah brandon's that's the homie that's the homie so i'm glad you enjoy our our, uh, our interactions you have great <clears throat> interactions with other YouTubers. Don't ever change it. Yeah, I won't. I will not. Nerds also come in chocolate. I love that. Uh, it was daunting before I did it, but it is such a cool experience interacting with other YouTubers. Uh, it's it's a fun thing, and I encourage you all, for those that are new to the platform or maybe been on for a while and just haven't, haven't ventured out to collaboration, collaborating, of course, there's that side of it like, well, if I collab with this person, is it to clout chase or the vice versa? I put that stuff aside. Like I've had people on my channel um, that have, uh, you know, just started their channel or, you know, I've had uh, and this isn't like a uh, um, like pat myself on the back, but I've had some big YouTubers on the channel that I, you know, uh, really admire their work. Um, so to me, it doesn't really matter, but what I'm getting at is the collaborations are cool. And I highly recommend you all do that again. If you're either starting a YouTube channel or been doing it for a while, been scared to do it, give it a shot. It's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of cool, awesome people out there, like-minded people out there. So definitely recommend it. And I won't change it to that point. I, I will continue to do collabs. It's, it's fun. It's really, really fun. <clears throat> Does elevated horror actually work for you? If so, which films represent it be best? Um, how does the subgenre compare to the horror films you grew up with? Elevated horror, that's like one of those keywords, right? And like, I guess elevated horror in today's terminology would be like, um, um, what, like more intellectual, thought provoking horror films? You know, I think of, you know, Ari Aster, Robert Eggers, uh, Jennifer Kent. Jordan Peele, uh, James Wan to an extent. Um, if, if, if that's what you mean by elevator horror, like The Witch, The Lighthouse, where it's like, it's not really horror. I mean, yeah, it's horror, it's psychological, uh, and that could be more scary than someone chasing you with an ax. But um, good films that represent that, like I said, to me, elevator horror is like the, the horror. And I know some people get like touchy about that, like horror is horror, but um, I think the films that just stick with you, psychologically speaking, and like I just mentioned, those films like The Witch, The Lighthouse, um, Us, uh, The Babadook, um, you know, all those different type of films uh, really kind of touch on the psyche, uh, dealing with grief, hereditary, dealing with uh, a breakup, <laughs> not knowing who you are or losing yourself in a relationship like Midsummer, stuff like that. So those are some films I think of. Uh, it does the subgenre. So growing up, slashers. That's when I grew up in the '90s. So, you know, you're um, you're a Wes Craven, uh, Scream. I know what you did last summer's. 
uh, Urban Legends, uh, and then early 2000s, the Final Destinations, and then creeping into the mid 2000s, you got your um, your gore horror films, Hostel, Saw, which I was a big fan of, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, much different now. I think now horror has um, it's getting back to what I grew up in. Like I mentioned, slashers. Like we just got Scream Five, Scream Six come out next year. Uh, Fear Street was a fun slasher that I like, so I love that we're getting back to slashers, man. I, I love slashers. Like I love just the <clears throat> they're not scary to me. They never have been, but I love the the rush. I love the the it's like an action film to a certain extent, right? It's like who's gonna die next? How are they gonna do next kill? Uh, and I'm 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 really looking forward to getting the slashers to my favorite of all times, Halloween's uh, 1978 Charlie Coppers, The Shape, aka Michael Myers. I, I want some more iconic slashers, man. I want to go back to the ghost face, the Michael Myers, the Jason Voorhees, uh, Freddy Krueger, uh, Chucky's of the world. Like, where are the icons? Icons. I need them. I need them back. But yes, I hope that answers your question, D Movie Man. I love horror, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, Moonlight, Moonlike, uh, Severance last episode, great review and after show. I was, oh, that's dope. I love Severance, Moonlight. I was. Um, so stupid <laughs> because listen if you all know i do these movie movie and tv show breakdowns every month where i highlight all the new shows coming out and severance was february i want to say and i covered it. i was like i'm gonna watch severance can't wait to cover for you all don't know what the hell happened but i i missed the first so like i'm fortunate enough to get apple screeners and i had the entire season the whole time when it came out. i had it like a like two weeks before it came out again not like oh look at me by no means um you know because of you all i get the opportunity to get these uh early screeners so i had them in the can and i don't know what the hell happened but i think they released the first two episodes the first week or maybe the first three it might have just been episode one but i just missed the opportunity and i'm one of those weirdos i'll admit it if i miss something it's hard for me to kind of go back and retrack and then bring it to the to the platform like if i'm three weeks behind on the show like i, I always just like man i missed the boat and I, i'll just watch it and at that point maybe cover it you know like an overall season thought or like come back for season two but I kept having people, I was covering Severance, and it, or not Severance, but Servant. You all know I cover like five or six shows at a time. I was covering like seven shows when Severance was on. I'm like, man, I don't know if I can 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 catch up because people were constantly, and I love that they were doing this because I ended up watching it. They were, I was covering um, uh, a Servant on Apple TV Plus, which is the M. Night Shyamalan horror psychological show. And everyone was like, hey, I love Sev uh, uh, Servant. This episode was great, blah, 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 blah. But have you seen Severance? Why aren't you watching? Why aren't you reviewing it? And I had so many people like comment. I'm like, dude, I just need to stop what I'm doing. I need to watch it. So I, I binged in like two days. I caught up to up to like episode six. And then I reviewed like seven, eight, nine. And then like uh, Moonlight said, I did a... Um, that do a watch no i did a after show like you said and um like a predictions video and i can't wait for season two but yes severance is another show i recommend you all check out if you haven't already and shout out to you moonlight for uh um you know finding me through through severance and supporting the channel uh do you have you seen undone i was trying to remember undone oh that's is that that animated um Rosa Zaldana, I might be butchering her name, but the the, the young lady that played, um, I don't say Akira, but no, um, I can't, my, my mind is fried right now, but yes, I know who you're talking about, I think I know what you're talking about, but I haven't seen that, but what I have seen, which is kind of in the same vein, Love, Death, and Robots, I'm not a big like anime person, nothing against anime, I just haven't really, since like I was like in high school and I used to watch Dragon Ball Z and stuff, but um, I haven't watched it as much as I used to, but uh, Love, Death, and Robots is like a super cool punk rock killer. Blood, Guts, you know, Michael, who he's still in here, with sex score, magic, I think it's his, I butcher that he says it a lot better because it's his logo or his uh, uh, slogan, but <clears throat> Love, Death, and Robots season volume three is coming out Friday, and I, I saw like three or four new episodes coming out this friday i love that but to answer your question i've not seen undone but I've, 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 i'm aware of it uh let me know if it's worth checking out i have not but i heard it's um it's good it's like it got approved for the third season right renew for third season thank you thank you thank you uh let's see here i think we might be a little bit spoiled as fandom because people are getting the point where they're picking and 
Oh, oh, oh muscles. <laughs> yeah, we're, you know what? We're going we're gonna to pivot to that in just a little bit, as I promise. Again, 52 people watching live. We're 52 minutes in. Uh, I want to spend like the first hour anyway, just thanking you all, appreciating you all, because again, YouTube is not an easy thing, but at the same time, it's not that difficult if you do the right things, if you believe in yourself, if you have the passion, you have the desire, you have the, you know, a plan in place, it can become a very awesome platform. You know, even with the whole social media anxiety that comes with it, the ratios of likes, dislikes, which they don't have the dislikes anymore, which I think is actually pretty cool in a psychological standpoint, because I know a lot of people do stress a lot on the numbers, uh, which is a whole discussion within itself. But just tying that on back into thanking you all, it is um, a very, it's one of the coolest things, uh, and I hope not to sound uh, melodramatic or hyperbole, but it, it is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life to be able to build this community because it does mean a lot to me. So um, I thank you all for the support. I want to continue to obviously grow this channel, continue to grow this community, um, but it, it doesn't go uh, unnoticed to have gotten to this point Um to be able to review things, to interact with you all. Like I said, from this channel alone, I've been able to see things early, review things early, meet awesome people like I mentioned throughout the stream so far. Uh, it, it means a lot. So again, I, I thank you all so much. And we're going to continue to do more of um, these thank you to you all. But then, like I said, the next maybe 10 to 15 minutes, we'll pivot and talk in a little bit more about movie news right we'll talk star wars we got a uh, vanity fair that came out the other day um on the magazine that we'll talk about obi-wan kenobi <clears throat> the return of hayden christensen christensen as darth vader uh anakin skywalker uh ahsoka uh and and all that different stuff and then we'll talk marvel we got some echo news i don't know if you all are excited for echo we'll talk about that and then she hulk we'll get into that so in about 10 to 15 minutes we'll pivot into those story news and again taking any live questions and stuff you all have about those uh different stories that we'll bring to the table <clears throat> i'm made at love Girl. oh you're mad oh, man i was listen if you want to see a grown man cry me being that grown man i'm referring to watch my live watch along for lovecraft country i think it's the first time i've cried on this channel live it was live so yes that was i like the finale but i think you're saying you're mad because it, it ended in like a way that we might not get a season two so yeah but I don't think they knew. I think they, they obviously, Misha Green, she put out her ideas for season two. Uh, so they planned to do season two, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. But hey, never say never. Thank you, um, <clears throat> the film fan. Appreciate it. Noho Hank is my favorite. Noho Hank is my favorite as well. For all those, we're talking Barry. Noho Hank uh, is so great. <clears throat> Are you watching The Baby Comes On After Barry? I'm not. Uh, is uh but it was it sounds like it'd be right on my alley it's like a horror show right like a horror comedy about a, like a possessed baby or something like that but yes i have not seen it though <clears throat> have you seen one cut of the dead i don't even know what that is follow up have you heard the french remake that premiered at Cannes? if you haven't must watch one of my favorite recent memory i don't even know what that is um one is that i assume it's a movie because it's just a remake one cut of the dead <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah I'm, i've never even heard of this it's a zombie film cool and then re, you say they re <clears throat> have you heard of it french remake okay so they're doing a remake of it dope i'll have to um okay here it is here final cut is that the name of the final cut cool I'll, I'll i'll see if it's somewhere to stream man i appreciate the recommendation um plug that show elliot uh make sure hbo sees that this to get sponsorship hbo sent him the whole season early for barry yeah no i, I um yes hbo if you're watching first off hbo the fact that I, I like i'm in communication with them to get stuff early is always great but yes hbo if you, i would love to i don't know sponsor hbo or i don't know doing like interview one of their uh creators or writers or actors of the show that's something I want to, and, and if you all saw a couple, uh, a month ago, <clears throat> interviewed Mike Snow, who's a, um, a, a stunt performer, 
he did uh he worked on a lot of movies but most recently he did uh the northman and that was like my first official interview and i had so much fun doing that with mike and hopefully we can link up again in the future but that was something you talk about daunting and, and scared to do i've been given the opportunity to interview um talents in front and behind the camera but i just like ah, man, i don't know what to say what to do but it's just like the same way i present myself like a human being it's just they're they're humans too so look out for more hopefully um interviews in the future uh if of course granted <laughs> an opportunity is given to me uh but yes that is something i would love to explore more on thank you justin shout out to justin great uh follower of the channel allison opinions on the <laughs> listen that's a whole other stream within itself allison i i kind of i didn't ignore it but i uh i wasn't really checking for the the um the court trial on tv or on online but in the last week or so, I've been kind of, kind of seeing some stuff while I was doing work at home, and it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, again, not to get too much into the to the minutia of it all, but you know, there's obviously some some toxicity, or not obviously, it is there was toxicity in that relationship. Uh, domestic violence is never something that should be done for men or women, uh, and it's just seeing the stuff. Oh, Amber, oh my goodness um the lawyers that she has in her squad it's like is is this a sitcom is this a joke right now uh and johnny's just sitting there oh man it's it's a mess to say the least but um yeah yeah it's 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 it's, it's, it's hollywood holly weird as they say but uh yeah power thank you uh is on stars not showtime thank you tyrian um and i don't have stars either <laughs> Uh, but I know it's, I think it's streaming somewhere. Uh, is Power on, on Netflix or something or on Amazon Prime? Let me know, guys. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm <coughs> sorry, Justin. Been with you since Lovecraft and really appreciate the community you create. Thank you, Justin. And uh, I, I really appreciate you, man. I love seeing your comments. You have some really, really well thought out comments. And uh, man, every time you guys bring up Lovecraft, it just breaks my heart. But yes, Justin, shout out to you, man. Uh, I discovered you just. Oh, discover uh uh that was 2020 was it yes that was 2020 uh defending jacob was so good it's my favorite show to date uh on apple tv plus um that ted lasso first season of the morning show was great i love c so much servants really good um Sir severance is up there of course but yeah defending jacob is still my favorite show that apple tv plus has produced it was such good television you, you talk about do i do you remember things how much we would just break that down did he do it did he ah oh, man that was a great show shout out to chris evans um got a dip in the middle of watching and so much fun guys man thank you thank you uh can't wait to yes sir yes, yes sir appreciate you have fun tonight um uh, let me hit the like but yeah hey Shout out to you, M. O'Neill. Uh, I'm sometimes so bad at that. Uh, uh, the whole like, share, comment uh, in regards to live stream. So yes, as M. O'Neill says, if you all, 50, uh, 45 of you all are watching live, shout out to you all. You could be doing anything right now. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So I appreciate you. Uh, but to show that love and support, which you all have been doing, but if you haven't already, hit that little thumbs up button. Uh, share it if you so uh, so be. Uh, if you have social media, Instagram, Twitter, and you know people that are like-minded like us, share this on your platforms. If you do, you don't have to. Uh, tag me in it too, for I can share that you're, you you know that you're showing love you know that was always fun uh so share it if you if you so desire uh and let's keep the conversation going in the live chat and if you so be if you if you feel the need if you feel like you want to show some extra love um by donating to the channel all that stuff is greatly appreciated not needed but appreciated so uh but yes thank you thank you thank you hey hey purple queen sugar how we doing another great supporter of the channel hope you're doing well appreciate you stopping by showing some love i'm, I'm like 30 minutes behind so let me catch up is thor camera shy uh yeah, he's like like he's not camera shy at all he's just doing his thing right now if he like he has ocd like he likes to lick his hands he needs a haircut really bad and when he does he like licks his hands like crazy um so when he like gets a water break i'll i'll check i'll bring him in on the camera he's not camera shy at all the dude loves the camera how's real life been friend good uh can't complain i'm here living breathing uh able to wake up every morning you know got roof on my head food on the table um got this awesome community here on youtube so i'm doing good hope you're how you doing you know how are you doing how are you all doing uh strictly starlight thank you hope you're doing well appreciate the love what is a show that you caught on um what 
what is a show that you caught on that just dumbfound you that to this day you can't figure out why people like it um i don't i don't i don't have a great answer for that justin some of those like um like reality shows to me just don't resonate with me it doesn't dumbfound me that people like it because people like what they like i used to watch, watch a lot of reality tv shows but i can't think of like a a scripted show that it's just like this is trash i don't know why people watch this because everyone likes what they like so i don't know if i have an answer for that unfortunately i mean there are shows that i don't like um but i'm not like what the f what's wrong with society why is people why i can't think of anything like that i'm pretty sure there is something i'm just not thinking of anything right now if i think of something i'll, I'll try to get back to that question just um the bear jewel hey man congratulations well thank you uh bear jewel hope you're doing well appreciate you showing some love uh have you watched any halo it's awful <laughs> but i can't stop watching yeah i reviewed the first um three episodes on my channel uh i was fortunate enough to get a, a screener of that and uh yeah it just it was interesting up into it um like i can't even remember the third episode it's been so long but yeah it just didn't really it didn't hook me it didn't like like hook me like some of the shows i cover on the show but uh yeah i hear i heard i hear it mixed back i know brandon covers it on his show if i'm not mistaken so yeah halo fans i know they were hating on it but you know it is what it is uh speaking of brandon it's real the devil <laughs> what's going on b uh congrats uh bro ham on 25k thumbs up the video everyone hashtag movie files like i mentioned uh i don't know if you were here earlier brandon but um really appreciative of um being able to be on your platform last year on your movie roundup talk show that he hosts every sunday talking movie news tv news and whatnot uh and just chopping up with you man being able to get to know you kind of behind the scenes we you know we share different tips and advice on different things on the platform and uh just being able to link up with him has been incredible in return meeting you know e-man uh who's who i was a big fan of uh prior to linking up with him on different collabs sharonda of course uh larry lamont uh one take big dog and, and that whole crew that you've kind of introduced me to has been uh very very awesome brandon so shout out to brandon uh for being an awesome dude and shout out to him with the super chat and uh 40k is the next milestone this this uh great man is going to be crossing pretty soon so if you guys aren't already uh check out just my opinion reviews brandon uh um check him out guys super dope dude and uh, uh even better uh well i'm gonna say super dope content creator even better person uh so definitely show him some love um your thoughts on Ozark ending? Do you think there would be a spinoff, uh, spinoff or movie? Um, I did a breakdown, actually a, a spoiler breakdown on my thoughts on it. So I don't want to spoil anything here, but I was satisfied with how it ended. And then, uh, man, we got El Camino, El Camino for Breaking Bad fans out there, which was the whole follow up to Jesse and what happened to him after Breaking Bad. I can see Netflix doing that like five, seven years from now, following up on the Bird family. Um, those that survived. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh yeah, I, I would be I would be there for it if it has the the right intentions because it's a great show. So yeah. Um, thank you, Stu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. We'll get into that uh caitlin what's up how we doing thank you thank you thank you much love to you hope you're doing well uh someone that's always sharing uh some great insights on the marvel stuff that we cover on this channel so i uh really appreciate you hope you're doing all right wherever you are in the world um have you ever thought about possibly doing a blu-ray for no i haven't oh, i have but i used to again for those that are like day oneers i used to do uh unboxing videos for new movies and shows or new movies that i would buy but i i haven't bought a new movie in like two years <laughs> but uh yes but as far as collection video this is not my um not my uh forte or my expertise but I'm, I'm looking off to the camera because i'm looking at just my collection it's, it's, a, it's a decent collection it used to be a lot larger um but i got a decent collection but to answer your question i um i guess you never say never but i don't plan on doing a collection video but you know who knows my friend who knows oh yeah fellow art school person i went to illustration uh graphic design but i love writing as well you're right though plenty of well-versed people outside of school and also 100 percent awesome you learned uh, from griffin that's what's up that's what's up what up what up appreciate you thank you hope you're doing well 
um well you're not the only one who thinks cgi yeah we'll, we'll get into that we'll get into that like one of my four more minutes barry jenkins thank you thank you thank you thank you got a lot of congratulations appreciate you all love the live discussions you do with chris and amanda that's how i found you first we talked about that earlier yep i, I love those two uh that's dope my sister met robert england at the high battle <laughs> that's hilarious love uh freddie uh with uh winning time ending what what should i be watching barry um lana's about to end um but barry if you're an hbo fan barry for show what's a specific horror gross that actually scares you in real life probably the psychological horror that stuff really messes with me um the stuff that gets in your head that's stuff that sticks with me so um yeah that stuff gets to me sometimes not all the time but sometimes alita thank you thank you thank you alita balladin yes so happy for your much channel grow appreciate it thank you what's going on will you be reviewing yeah it's on the channel check it out i reviewed just for the free review i did a a, a finale breakdown uh ending explain or whatever breakdown so uh yes it's on the channel so check it out i think i painted i think a painted lady might have been in the way to go what i'm missing oh uh she hulk we'll talk, again no, I, I keep saying we'll talk, about we'll talk about it we're gonna talk about it here soon we'll just uh catch up with the chat uh once a big dog what's going on bro keep it winning k hey, bro hope you're doing well man uh can't wait to see you back on the platform crushing it doing your damn thing i know you uh killing it all on various platforms tiktok instagram or whatnot but uh hope you're doing well man uh hope to to link up soon and uh, uh chop it up about some dc and marvel and all that fun stuff man another great content creator guys uh once a big dog check them out uh super 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 dope individual anime horror comedy you name it uh super uh awesome dudes so check them out um if you had the opportunity to potentially co-direct or co-produce a film yourself what type of genre or subgenre would you be interested in most uh horror um it would definitely be a horror film and it would be a psychological horror film so yeah that that would be if i had the opportunity that would definitely be it um let's see let me catch up here yes yes lovecraft make it happen what episode that cry it was the finale that 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 finale the tell someone was good too um uh, but the finale got me when um well i won't spoil it but yeah uh, it was multiple points but yes that that got to me Nisi, thank you so much congrats again thank you uh again i can't thank you enough for being a part of this train this journey for three years with uh defending jacob and uh, just always being a, a a a joy to see in the comments so thank you so much and i appreciate you uh for the love support and the, and the super chat there thank you so much uh let's see here i'm watching eight different shows on hbo now they're dropping heat yeah they hbo's they never miss well every now and then but for the most part they're, they're always on fire um 2018 wow four years that is incredible when barry and atlanta season three end will you watch seasons you damn right i will i can't wait june 21st or 28th the trailer looked great can't wait to get back into that building with those murderers <laughs> uh but shout out to you man eight uh four years that's that's incredible thank you so much uh three best shows right now better call saw atlanta i haven't uh i gotta catch up on better call saw but from what i've seen season one was unfortunately the only season i saw it was fantastic uh in atlanta yes and ozark yes 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 and yes love your review of them that's to date that's the biggest review on the channel uh and pff, that's the crazy thing about youtube it was like a 45 minute review I'm like damn i just spent 45 minutes on this uh but lo and behold it's like i said the biggest a review a biggest viewed channel on my um video on my channel so yeah oh i didn't know you was from chicago or still from chicago as a fellow okay yeah myself i like to know some favorite films that are set in film chicago um she's i don't know <laughs> why is the first thing that came to mind is um uh <laughs> transformers dark side of the moon <laughs> this isn't a bad film by the way but that's the first thing that came to mind um dark knight dark knight was filmed in chicago so those are two that come to mind michael bay christopher nolan same playing field right <laughs> and there's so many great other chicago movies but those are the two that came to mind um you know black uh, congrats on the uh landmark uh just got a free year of, oh 
day what up free apple tv uh today on my phone service was oh man this is the, this is the question right here um so i mentioned my favorite show is defending jacob so put that on the docket put that on the watch list severance do that as well fantastic show um ted lasso feel good show um i really like c that's the jason momoa uh dystopian futuristic show that I, that's uh, a bunch of um a lot of action really good action violent really violent i love it Mm, foundation's cool for any sci-fi fans like the production on foundation is incredible um so many great stuff the morning shows i didn't i've watched season two i couldn't really get into it but season one was fantastic um but yeah that's what is that like four or five seven shows i just mentioned so there you go check it out man and and, and it's worth it even when i i don't have i got it free for the first couple of years but now it's like five dollars and it's so worth it for the quality uh that they give us so yeah i love it um found you oh i can't wait for white lotus are you gonna yeah yeah i love the white lotus i love that show i can't wait for season two in italy i think is a new season all right so i think i'm caught up i think i'm good i think i'm good and yes yes to both of those uh what's going on er grandpa what's going on jacob uh thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much all right I, yes we're good all right let me just take these few questions then we'll transition into the movie news uh question do you think it is a mistake for Ryan Coogler to bring back Black Panther 2 after the first after the first one made a Billy he could have done anything? I feel like we're missing great films from him. So great question. Um yeah. Yeah, I think it was a good career choice by him to come back. You know, obviously he he he's he hasn't done a film besides Black Panther since uh Creed. Um and that was what 2015 uh, or 16 um yeah no i think it was a good i think and i don't know if he'll come back for three if i'm being honest i would love to see i mean first we gotta see if he's doing with the second one and again shout out to e-man uh hashtag recast t'challa a lot of stuff that film's obviously gone through um but no i think it was a good career decision is it i talked about dark knight is christopher nolan move you do your big blockbuster films you know obviously started off with the independent uh fruitville station uh creed um was it another film before he did Black Panther? Or those were the first two films. Um, but yeah, you, you, you do the independent films. You get your name out there with the Black Panthers. He now is a producer of like everything Black Panther and, and um, MCU. With uh, He's a producer of uh, um, the Riri Williams uh, Ironheart show. And obviously the Black Panther show that they're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, I think it was a good move. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Creed, yeah. So yeah, no, I think it was a good decision on him. He's a producer as well. I forgot about that. Judas and the Black Messiah, Space Jam, uh, not that great. Uh, Creed 3 is a producer on. He, I think he's, yeah, and I mentioned the TV stuff he's going to be doing. So no, I think it was a power move for him to do this now. Uh, and then, you know, I wouldn't be surprised two, three years, he has his own studio making money moves. So yeah, I think it was a smart business decision on his end, my personal opinion. Uh, what's Mike talking about? I got to watch Barry. Yes, you do, Mike. And Severance. Yes, you do, Mike. So many shows. You're all right, my friend. But those are two shows that I will put on the top of the, of the, of the list, man. Two great shows. And my creep was not passed. Do you think we would have? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He would have been. He probably would have been. Um, I'm trying to think of the show. Which we own the city's been a really good show. It was, it was kind of frustrating at first because the story was just kind of, which is a, a wire thing the way that they tell the story, but it was just a little bit hard to really gravitate towards. But if Michael K. Williams, which, you know, rest in peace, like you mentioned, if he was still with us and he was, he definitely would have been in the show. And I think he would have been, um, he probably would have been like a G Money. He would have been G Money or someone like that. Or he could have, he could be Sean Suter, you know, put him in a suit and tie and doing that whole detective thing. But I think he would have been like a G Money character uh, if he was still with us. With again, great actor. Uh, and rest in peace to Michael K. Williams, one of the best. One of the best. Uh, thanks for your recommendation. Watch Ted Lasso, see Euphoria, because they're awesome. All great shows, by the way, in their own right. Uh, let's see. Also, should you should see all of us. I did, Justin. I watched it and reviewed it. It didn't do that well, which broke my heart because I was really passionate about that show. But yeah, I, I, I watched it, reviewed it, uh, and it's on the channel, my friend. How many movies, how many more movies this year do you think will make a billion? Great, Chris. Great question, Jacob. Well, we don't have one yet, right? Well, I know the, right now Doctor Strange might be looking like that, but I don't think it's going to cross a billion. Um, mm hmm. -hmm. 
I think Thor can do it. If I'm being honest, I think Thor can do it. I think the, like the kid movie wise, Minions probably because they've been doing it since they've been. I think million, Minions. I think it's the third one, the Guru or whatever, like the origins of the Guru.、Uh, I think that might make a billion. <sighs> Don't be surprised if Lightyear does a billion.、Um, What else is coming up? Ugh, I don't say ugh. I just think about the last one, Jurassic Park, or Jurassic Fallen Kingdom. But I think the new one's going to do a billion because I think it's going to be number one a lot better than that second one. And I, I think all the films with the new iterations have done a billion. I think people are excited about it. I, I've stayed away from the trailers, but I heard it's, it's looking good. So I think that's going to be a billion.、Uh, what is it? Dominion. I think is the name of the next one. Um. I think Black Panther two can do a billion. If I'm being honest, and then Avatar. So yeah, I think those are those are my billion, billy, billy, billy. All right. So now that we have answered your questions, which again, guys, 25k is no number that I take lightly. I I, I truly thank you all、uh, for the support, the love, the likes, the shares, the comments, the the,、uh, the the all the stuff you all have provided to this channel. It means the world to me, and I can't wait to cross 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and keep on going. So thank you so much for the support, guys, on this channel, and I am just so appreciative of all the love you all have given me in this.、Uh, Five-year window that I've been doing this YouTube thing. So, onward and upward. I think is the the saying. <laughs> But neither here nor there. Much love、uh, that I'm sending out to you all、uh, for the showing this channel love, and it, it, this is this is this is huge. So thank you, thank you guys so much. So let's go ahead and and pivot and transition over some movie news.、Uh, and I'm just reading some of these comments. Yeah, ability for that film,、um, Aquaman two.、Uh, well, they got pushed back to March, so that's not coming out to next year.、Uh, but I think that will make a billion, even with. Amber Heard, which if, if I mentioned, I watched a little bit of the news and I saw that she was talking about. Who knows? You can't even can't trust anything that she said. But she said in the stand that she her role was reduced, which might mean she might not be in Aquaman too, which I think might be better for that film just from a、uh, publicity standpoint. So,、uh, but yeah, Aquaman two comes out next year.、Uh, Top Gun, I'm hearing great things about it. I don't, I don't think, uh, 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 not, I, don't, I can't even talk. I don't think Tom Cruise has made a billion. Like I don't think any of his films have crossed a billion. I could be wrong, but I'm a big Tom Cruise fan, on camera fan.、Uh, but I, I honestly don't think none of his films have opened to a billion dollars.、Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if you all. I know like all his films, like like obviously the films he's done have equaled a billion, well over a billion. But I don't think he's ever had a billion dollar film.、Uh, and not saying that the new Mission Impossible can't, but or、uh, Top Gun Maverick. But I don't think it. I don't know. But I'm hearing great things. Great word of mouth. That's how you make a billion. Is great word of mouth. <laughs> also, you coming to NYC? If I one day, Mike, I, I I think I told you I lived in New York for a little bit for like three years.、Uh, but it was upstate New York. I'm such an idiot. I never went down. I would never. Yeah, I was up. So I never went down to New York when I lived. It was just,、oh, I hate that that I never went to New York. But one day, Mike, for sure, man, we gotta link up,、uh, go to New York City, one of these cons, and, and、uh, meet in person, man. Definitely、uh, on the list, on the list, on the list, my friend. All right, so I've been hinting at it, talking about it, but let's just transition to and talk about some of these news, man. We got some. So I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm not like a super. I haven't watched all the Star Wars like. I've watched all the live action movies. I haven't seen all the shows, Clone Wars, Rebels,、uh, all that different stuff. But I'm a fan. I'm excited about all the stuff that is coming to the galaxy far, far away.、Uh, so one of which we got this dope ass, super cool Vanity Fair cover here, as you all can see on the screen now. I mean, come on, man, you got Andor. We'll talk about it. You know, I like. Luca、uh, as an actor, I liked his role in the film, but we'll talk about his show. But I mean, come on, man, Ewan's looking badass as Obi as always, my favorite Jedi. You got Din, you know, aka Mandalorian.、Uh, you know, where's Yo?、Uh, is is Grogu in that helmet somewhere? I don't know. And then, you, of course, you got Rosario Dawson, who's playing Ahsoka.、Uh, so I mean, they look badass, and I mean, talk about badass. Look at this here. They're at the what is this? The volume, I think, is what they call it when they shoot a lot of their visual effects when they can't, you know, go on location. They just create the location, right? So they're looking cool. This looks like an album here, like Star Wars, the album. They're looking super fly, you know, laughing in the background, having a good time. Obi Wan, he's looking serious because he knows he has a Darth Vader coming from his head in his series. So I think these photos look great. But then look at this here, guys. Look at Hayden Christensen. 
practicing, warming up for that ass whooping <laughs> that he's going to be giving to Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I, like I said, I, I've covered Star Wars on the channel. I don't know if I'm, and this is just like behind the scenes analytical stuff. I don't think I have um, the audience. I don't think my audience like gravitates towards my Star Wars coverage, uh, which is fine because, you know, I, they gravitate towards other things. And that's the beauty of YouTube, you know, to each people gravitate to what they look like and look forward to seeing. So I don't think I'll be covering Obi-Wan Kenobi on a weekly basis, but I might do like a <clears throat> end of the season breakdown or a discussion or whatever the case may be. But neither here nor there. I'm extremely excited for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Can't wait to see, uh, you know, him, Darth Vader uh clashing for the first time since uh you know new hope which is my personal favorite star wars film all-time favorite star wars film the og um but i'm really excited to see that I, again I, i'm not too familiar with the um the other canon stuff as far as like the the tv shows the animated shows clone wars rebels because i know they they talk about the the inquisitors the uh the grand inquisitors reva the sisters all that different stuff is like sounds like foreign to me but from what i have heard they sound pretty badass um really excited for hayden to come back in the role because he has one of those things where people were you know hating on the prequels i'm not i like the prequels i think revenge of the sith is the best one out of the three uh followed up by phantom menace and then way way down is uh clone wars uh, attack of the clones um but i'm excited to see him back in the role and seeing what we get with that character and, and all that which transitions to other shows and i'm excited about or maybe not as excited about is this andor show and it's not even one of those things where it's like we know what happens to andor because is that the case? I wouldn't be excited for uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi because we know what happens to him and Darth Vader. But I'm just not sure what the direction of the show is so far. I know it's going to tie it to him being in the rebel, uh, being uh, a rebellion and his family and stuff like that. But it's, I just don't. And I expect what I expect with Andor is unexpected cameos. Like, man, I, I tell you. I can see because this takes place obviously before his demise. Spoiler alert for... Um, um, you know the film that he was in but um i can see dark sidious i can see plagueis being involved in his show obviously probably a darth vader uh reference to but definitely i can see um the the best villain the greatest villain because obviously darth vader had to switch but dark plagueis man i can see insidious being in this show and and, and really wrecking shop so i'm looking you know again i'm not over the moon for it but i'm looking forward to it and then ahsoka man again not have not having had watched the animated show and just seeing her uh live at, and i've seen clips of stuff with uh ahsoka but seeing uh you know rosario dawson in season two i, I love the look i love the design very curious to, to learn more about the character i know that her show a lot of people are saying it's like a carry on to the clone wars with and correct me if I'm wrong, but like Ezra, I think is a character that's like lost in space with um, um, what's the character, the blue character name? And this is where I, like I feel like such a, a noob <laughs> with Star Wars, but um, I'm, I'm vaguely familiar with like her storyline, so I'm really excited to learn more about that um, and, and see what Star Wars has to offer. And I said this many, many years ago when I was on a various different podcasts talking about the future of Star Wars. I said the future of Star Wars is in the shows, man, and I mean these this this photo shoot sells you know tells you here that this is what their focus is on the tv shows uh and i have like a little thing that i found you know they're still working on the movies you know you got taika waititi which you know people are speculating will be the next film patty jenkins is still on the table but as this little thing here says from uh get fandom it's a, it's a ways out and apparently ryan johnson is still gonna be doing his trilogy okay and and you know sure i mean yeah you know his his film and i and i like last jedi for what it was but you know his film was the one that kind of split <laughs> the fandom in half uh but we'll see man i know he's doing his thing with the um the uh, knives out franchise which i'm looking forward to the second one later this year but uh yeah man let me know in the comments guys how how are you feeling as a star wars fan are you a fan number one and if so how do you feel about the state of star wars are you more excited about the shows or more excited about the future of star wars again taika waititi kevin uh, feige produced um film that he's been working on um you know ryan johnson patty jenkins are you guys more excited for the films or more towards the shows and out of all those shows, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Andor, um, Ahsoka, 
um, Acolyte, I think is, is that the the main ones. And then the other day they announced John Watts is going to have a, a like a. They always use Stranger Things as like the way to pitch a show. But are you excited for those shows? And if so, what's your most excite like? What's your most anticipated out of those shows? So. Star Wars, man, it's it's uh, it's making a comeback on, in the form of small screen. So I like it because I love diving deeper into these characters. So let me uh, see what you guys are talking about here in the chat. Justin says, I want uh, Mace Windu to show up in the prequel or anything. Yeah, I think Mace Windu and, and Sam Jackson has said so much so that he wants to return in the role. I can see him being maybe if he is to be involved. Obi-Wan would be the show and probably Andor too right because that's right around the um the rebellion all that stuff so <clears throat> maybe maybe we'll see um i'm done with star wars hey i know a lot of people that are done too i'm I, i'll never be done with star wars i'm just i just love being in the galaxy far far away uh let's see what's better star wars or toy story you know as a child's pet um for me star wars <laughs> I grew up with Star Wars, but I also grew up with Toy Stories. But I just gravitate towards that. Like sci-fi is like to me hits on a greater level than. Uh, and I listen. Don't get me wrong. I love Toy Story. Love it to death. Uh, but it's it's, it's uh, Star Wars for me. But cool guys, again, if you're watching on the replay or if you're still in the chat now, uh, let me know your thoughts, excitement level, and what have you for the new Star Wars news and announcements. And again, look at this. Look at this here. When is album dropping? Come on, when that album drop? Star Wars. Or or the name of the album's called Far Far Away or something like that. Sounds like a Drake album. But they look badass, man. They look badass. But speaking of badass, let's talk about some uh the boys. You know, we got a trailer, I want to say on Monday. Uh it looks awesome, you know. We got uh my boy Butcher. <laughs> Billy Butcher. Um, he's gonna be taking some V for 24 hours to fight the soups. Uh, it looks like Huey is now in a in a position that he's gonna be bossing around Billy. Uh Homelander is wilding the F out, milking cows, slaying people left and right after his relationship ended in a very, very interesting way last season. Um, what else did the trailer kind of reveal to us besides uh the V and Billy using that stuff? Uh Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is going to be in the mix. He looks to be very badass, and it seems like Mev and the whole the the, the people that are trying to get Homelander off uh, his his throne will be getting. It'll be. It looks like it's going to be Homelander v Billy v Soldier Boy. So I'm excited for it. The Boys to me is one of the best shows on TV. Uh, definitely look forward to coverage on that show on the channel once it releases in a couple weeks. Uh, it's bloody, it's gory, it's very mature. Uh, I love the writing. I love the only character, and I've said this since day one. I am not a Huey fan. I do not like Huey at all. I don't like the portrayal. I like the actor, Dennis Quaid's son. Uh, uh, I can't think of his first name right now. I like him, but I just don't like Huey. Huey is so annoying to me. So hopefully they can, you know, with this whole new power of position that he's in, I hope that hopefully they can give him a little bit more to do uh, and to make me like him. But um, yeah, I'm excited for this new season. Uh, what is it? Hero Gasm? I haven't read the comics, but I'm aware of some of the storylines and where things kind of went. And I've heard of Hero orgasm and again based on the stuff we've got in the first two seasons orgasm will probably be one of the craziest things we've seen on tv <laughs> so very looking forward to how things shape up I, I think we're gonna get some fatalities i think some of our main characters particularly from the boys uh hopefully here we <laughs> will uh be biting the uh, the bullet this season so i'm really excited for it let me know in the chat if you all are boys fans and if you're excited for this new season but hey y'all been talking about it let's talk about it y'all been talking about it let's talk about it let's even do a let's do a color change here let's let's get green over here let's get hulky uh let's let's switch it to let's talk about the she hulk trailer uh for you all at home um well you know before we pivot before we pivot echo are you all excited for echo we got a couple set photos they just start just start filming yesterday um if you see my coverage me and amanda and chris we covered it every week when it was on with hawkeye maya started off interesting but then she got overshadowed literally by her um play uncle kingpin who i'll never forgive never forgive michael if you're still here i will never forgive marvel for what they did to kingpin but 
uh, Echo Man, you know, they're, they're doing a show. I love that we get this new character uh, exploring her, where she comes from, and things of that nature. But I just feel like the, the setup in Hawkeye was just so disappointing for what they ultimately did with the character, the fake out villain storyline. Um, but I will say, if rumors are to be said, I, I don't know if you all follow uh, uh, Kristen Rittner, who played um, um, Jessica Jones, but that is Jessica Jones and Mike, uh, who played um, Luke Cage. Oh, they're hanging out. And like I just said, they're filming Echo right now. Um, you know, I don't uh, speculate. But I don't know, man. It, and again, I don't want her show to be overshadowed. But from what I'm hearing about her show, it would make ton of sense for a Hawkeye or not a Hawkeye. Well, Hawkeye might appear um, in that show, but Daredevil, you know, some Defenders, Jessica Jones, and um, you know, Luke Cage. And, I, and I, again, I don't want them to overshadow her show. But to boost her show, to make it a little bit more appealing, to see that there's other and to you know naturally, organically fit within the narrative. Obviously, not just throwing in cameos for the sake of cameos. But I don't know. I, I, I'm hoping for the best, but I'm not overly excited for Echo. But again, uh, you know, are you all excited for Echo? I would imagine if they start a production today, it'll be out probably sometime next year uh, with Maya and her whole where she comes from, her family and her battling what happened at the end of uh, the Hawkeye series. And do you all want to see some defenders in the form of uh, Luke Cage, as well as Jessica Jones and Daredevil and whoever, you know, Hawkeye, maybe Elena, maybe. But let me know if you all are excited for Echo. But, uh, you know, let's let's go ahead and pivot. Let's go ahead and pivot. She-Hulk. She-Hulk series is coming, I want to say, August 17th. Um, and it, it, it dropped its trailer yesterday, as you all know. And um, yeah, She-Hulk is here. Uh, Jennifer Walters, um, you know, she's, she's in the building. She's doing a damn thing. And so I'll just say this. I want to talk about the positives first. So number one, first and foremost, uh, Tatiana Maslani, I think it's her name. I, I haven't watched, uh, uh, I think it's Orphan, I think, or Black Orphan or something like that. Her, she's great in it. She's won awards, if I'm not mistaken, for her portrayal. I have seen her in two projects, though. I've seen her in the um, Jake Gyllenhaal movie about the Boston bombings. I thought she was great in that film. Um, but she was also in a TV show. Uh, Perry Mason. Uh, she was a, a supporting cast member or like a co-lead, actually, if I'm being honest. And she was great. So, I mean, she has all the workings to, to be a great, she's a great actress from everything I've seen her in and from what I've heard about her in uh, Black Orphan, I think is the name of the show. Uh, so I, I liked her her kind of vibes in this trailer, you know, funny kind of Ally McBeal type of vibes, you know, lawyer court stuff going on. I love the angle with the whole division of like superheroes need hero or need, you know, um, lawyers they need you know to be represented because they're destroying cities damaging things so i like that angle because that obviously opens the door for a matt murdoch to come into that mix uh so i like that angle i like the comedy beats with her and her cousin who will talk about bruce Oof, bruce banner r.i.p to hulk and the mcu uh and, and all that stuff worked it looks fun it looks like i said funny it looks entertaining i know it's going to be you know breaking the fourth wall uh, i'm not i haven't read any of her comics but i know that is something that um and correct if i'm wrong mike if you're still in here i think she hulk broke the fourth wall before like a deadpool i think she was even made or written before deadpool uh and if i'm not mistaken i think the creator of she hulk uh the main showrunner was the same director that directed um oh man uh blockers i think was i think that's the same person um which i really enjoy blockers i thought that was funny like funny as hell uh so if she can bring that sensibility and it seems like this show based on some of the things we saw in the trailer looks like it's going to be a little bit more raunchy a little bit more uh adult oriented with uh jennifer and her dating life so that, that that's something i look forward to seeing i'm just double checking to see if uh if uh the person i'm mentioning was a part of blockers I might be wrong. I don't know where I got that from, but I could have sworn she was part of Blockers. But neither here nor there. Those are stuff that really got me excited. Um, but the things that didn't get me excited. Um, what wh What's going on here, Marvel? Um, 
what do we what do we whoa what, why does she look like that oh my goodness um and even abomination like i know they're going with the more comic book accurate but uh, is, is disney hurting for money right now i mean goddamn so i, I listen i don't want to harp too much on the visual effects that has been the the theme as soon as i saw the trailer i was i hit up um uh chris and amanda uh and it was like yo we, we were talking about it a little bit but look visual effects aren't clean and and, and I've, I've heard the argument so far it's you know it's coming out in august they still got three months to work on it sure i get all that uh, you know i'm a firm believer if if it's not if it's not cooked yet if it's not well done don't even put it out don't even serve it to us yet if it's not if the visuals aren't looking clean so that's how i feel about that kind of rushing this trailer for no reason like you you, you got the buzz of, of dark dr strange going right now people are excited about you know the future of you know miss marvel seems to be kind of on the on the you know i'm still kind of i don't see the the, the excitement that, like i saw from other shows but you know you got miss marvel coming out you got thor love and thunder um and then that's coming out you know in three months so i i don't know i feel like they rushed that trailer because the, the visual effects man and, and don't and i don't want to hear the argument it's, it's a tv budget this is disney we're talking about right the money isn't a, you know an issue to them so i'm just <sighs> I'm not liking the look, guys. But again, I don't want to harp too much on that. But what I'm, what I'm, I'm definitely not liking, and this has just been, you know what? Let me backtrack. Let me go back to things that I'm, I am also excited about. From you know, they did confirm that uh, the Sorcerer Supreme himself, Wong, will be making an appearance, which that makes sense because that cameo in Shang Chi made no sense to the context of that movie. But now they're tying it back into this show, which will be interesting. And again, Tim Roth, fantastic actor. The look of abomination looks an abominable. Like I do not like this toyish looking design. So now let me get back to the negative. <sighs> the Hulk, Bruce Banner, aka the Hulk. I mean, look at look at this guy here. Where, where, where he at? Where is that Hulk at? What about this one here, guys? No, instead we got this Hulk. With a, with a, first off, what chairs are they sitting on that can hold their weight on at a bar? They just, uh, it just looks wrong. It looks terrible. The, what is this? Uh, 2003? Is Eric Banner? Is he in this show? Is is that the Hulk that we're looking at? I mean, come on, like seriously, this is the Hulk that we just got in 2018. Thor Ragnarok. This is obviously 2008. You know, different actor, but look at the, the Hulk. He's hulking out right now. He's smashing. But no, our Hulk right now. He's drinking, you know, Montai's at the bar. He's, you know, playing, uh, you know, hide and go seek with his cousin, which the stands. Jennifer, what are you doing? But I mean, I, I don't like the Hulk, guys. I've said it many, many times, many, many times. I don't know what Marvel's doing with him. Thumbs up. Like, why does he look so small? Why is he wearing? Like, what is he wearing? Listen, Marvel, you, you killed the Hulk. The Hulk's dead to me in the MCU. Like, I don't understand the, the campy, funny, goofy professor. I know it's in the comics, but just because it's in the comics doesn't mean you have to bring it to fruition. And, 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 and the way they're, I mean, again, this picture says it all, man. I mean, the man is sitting at a bar. Like, what what's going on hulk marvel can we just can can him giving the blood uh transfusion to his cousin wreck his brain and makes him get back to to you know this this guy here can can we do it can we go in a multiverse and bring out this hulk can we go to a variant version of this hulk can we kill can we kill mark ruffle great actor man big fan of yours but he needs to go he needs to go. We need to recast the Hulk. We need to bring in a new Hulk. We need to bring in another variant Hulk because this Hulk is dead to me. This Hulk here is dead to me. I'm sorry. And I'm not looking forward to their back and forth banter, goofiness, because it's just not the Hulk I want. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not a fan. Not a fan, guys. Um, but listen, Tatiana Maslany, I hope she does a damn thing. Like I said, from the stuff I've seen her in, she's great. You know, Tim Roth is back. He's great. I don't like the look of the abomination, but, you know, we'll see. Wong, do the damn thing. Big fan of his. I'm hoping the visual effects is better. I'm excited to learn more about this character. I mean, I like the fact that, hey, you know, she out there doing her damn thing. You know, she on Tinder. You know, I thought that was funny. Again, the visual effects, I'm trying to uh, not look at the visuals. But, you know, she, uh, heroes need love. <laughs> I like that kind of, that again, that mature nature of it all. But, I've spoken enough. Let me see what you all are talking about here. Um, 
Oh, man, I'm sorry, man. The Hulk is just not doing it for me anymore. Uh, pass on Echo. Where's the Fantastic Four? Oh, they're coming. It, you know, if you saw a film um, in the last couple of weeks, I don't know. Maybe they'll be coming or not. Uh, just to know we are getting a TV show of one of the most uninteresting characters of the time. <laughs> we'll see. I hope that Echo is like super grounded, super dope. I'm hoping for the best um let's see here hey elliot it's 2 a.m in london i have the work so say hi i just want to say mascara well thank you so much uh shout out to you uh she has a great youtube channel she covers a lot of great stuff on her channel check her out guys uh but shout out to you showing some love there uh and uh get some rest get some rest 2 a.m get some rest get some rest uh tatiana maslani great and black orphan what i was i was saying black orphan orphan black uh thank you thank you yes i heard she's great and like i said the stuff i've seen her and she's fantastic she plays seven instances yeah she's good like i said i have no doubts in her acting sensibilities she hulk look like a, a lot of fun cgi look a bit bad a bit tony i think you're being great just there it looks terrible <laughs> but again i like uh i said this should be um uh post but I, I hear you tony but again man this is this is disney man this isn't the cw this isn't a half-ass you know starter up company this is disney man they got all the funds in the world to clean up their stuff but for whatever reason they decide to we need to put this out now and, and you know they could have even left they could have done another trailer without she hulk they could have just did more of jennifer walters her being a lawyer show goofy ass silly ass hulk scenes that he isn't uh you know when she's in hulk form so i don't know we'll see yeah ps2 rendering 100 percent Correct. She Hulk broke the fourth wall before. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you for the uh, uh, confirmation there. Before Deadpool, she created eleven years before Deadpool. Gotcha. Yep. And that's what I said. That's what I got from the trailer. I love the little comedy beats. I love the mature, you know, her on the dating scene and and, and seeing that because that's superheroes. You know, are human. You know, for uh, for most of them are, uh, and they do human things. They use Tinder. They go on dates. They have stress. They have things they go through. So I love that aspect of the trailer. So, uh, and I'm really excited to see her breaking the fourth wall and, and seeing the boundaries uh, that they push on that so um uh, let's see let's be honest marvel has truly done the hulk thank you tony so dirty ever since endgame ever since endgame ever since <sighs> i have fun when i'm in ragnarok i'm not gonna lie so i would say for infinity war for me granted the beat the ass beating i think is justified Thanos, very powerful being, even with the two stones that he had at that point, or one at that point. No, it was two. He had two at that point. I get that. But then not to have Hulk, no, and like bitching out and not coming out. And uh, I, I, I say since Infinity Wars, 2018, they have been, he's been dead to me. Uh, Professor Hulk, dead. Kill him. Kill him off now, please. Disney, throw a thin money budget. It's like Cartoon Network. Yep. 100% uh yeah i hate what they did yeah it's it's a shame man and i think you know not to the extent of the hulk but they're i i have fun with what chris is with chris hemsworth is doing with, with thor but i hope that thor love and thunder kind of finds a little bit better mixture of the you know funny thor but also the more serious thor but the hulk is, is definitely an example of just completely destroying the character from top to bottom uh, look, whatever. LOL. I grew up uh, here in the class of these ends. Yeah, yeah the, I love the. Hey, shout out to you. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, they, I just hope that they clean it up. I really do. Uh, you know, so yeah, super boring. Like I don't care that he's he's dabbing. Why is the Hulk dabbing? It's for the kids. Clearly, kids love it. They love the funny Hulk. Mommy, I want Hulk for Christmas. He's funny and smart. That's cool, Billy. Genie. Little Timmy. I want the Hulk smashing mofos. I don't want him doing mathematical. I mean, yes, that's part of the character. Let me let me backtrack. Bruce Banner is the intelligent side. Bruce Banner. I don't want my Hulk dabbing, eating pancakes. Why is the Hulk at a bar? And again. What chair is holding it? Is th this better be a chair made of vibranium? Because I don't know what bar, chair, stool is holding his weight. But I mean, look, I mean, listen, shout out to dieting, losing weight because the Hulk, I mean, look at this Hulk compared to this Hulk. Like what he's on a, I don't know, keto diet or something, man. Like wh where is this Hulk? Look at him. 
angry. Angry Hulk. Not so much. Why? Why Marvel? Why you do that? Why? Who, who was it Kevin's idea? Was it Kevin Feige? <sighs> Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Why? Um, let's see. Ed Norton here uh, was still the Hulk. He would have. Uh, we don't know, man. We don't know. But uh, yeah. We'll see. I mean, that rumor's been out there for a while, but it ain't looking that way. Jessica, what's up? Just found your channel. It's great. Congrats. Thank you, Jessica. Welcome. Larry, what's going on, Larry? Congrats on the 25K. Thank you, Larry. Uh, another person I was uh, able to meet through Brandon from Just My Opinion Reviews. Great content creator. You want to know about the latest tech. You want to know about the latest cameras, uh, you know, where you can you know, edit software. I mean, the man is Tony Stark. <laughs> he goes by Killmonger. Those that follow Brandon know that that little inside joke there, but he is he's the Tony Stark, uh, the Reed Richards, uh, you know, the Riri Williams, uh, you know, of uh, or Blue uh, uh, Blue Marvel. I think is it Blue Marvel. Uh, he's a very intelligent individual, but he covers all the tech stuff. He's a tech guy, so definitely check him out, guys. Uh, and uh, today, I feel like very very great content curator. Uh, underrated. Yes, it's a bit underrated. I think you know what I think the Hulk. 2008 is appropriately rated <laughs> if i'm being honest with you um let's see yeah that's what i said i, I the the thor stuff breaking him out of the more shakespearean sphere of the character to me was organic the hulk not so much but yeah to the to, to a certain extent the, yes thor is, is a bit of a joke he's a he's you know he's, you know, I'm doing this goofy, silly stuff, but I, I'm hoping that Taika brings a little bit more. That's I'm, 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 I'm very hopeful for Love and Thunder. I think Love and Thunder is going to shock a lot of people in, in the more like drama, serious moments. Because God, the God, the, God, the um, Gore, the God Butcher ain't going to be playing no game. So yeah, um, yeah, he don't smash no more. He retired smashing. He's 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 too busy getting drinks at the bar. Uh, Hulk will still smash. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think so. I think uh, I don't think so. So, listen, man. Uh, you know, as far as the Disney Plus shows go, um, you know, I don't think that they have a, a complete strikeout so far. You know, like I said, the last two years or last year, I should say, dating back to Wandavision, which is still my favorite uh, or second favorite. Let me retract that. Wandavision is my second favorite show that they have given us. I think from a character perspective, has been the best character study. Um, and I love what they're doing with Wanda. Uh, number one for me is Loki. Uh, parallel universes, multiverse, all the conversations had in that show and, and the reveal, like it, it lived up to the expectations of the finale and a, and a big cameo from uh, he who will remain, a.k.a. Kang. Jonathan Majors, that's still my number one. Like I said, followed by WandaVision. Uh, Moon Knight, you know, I really enjoyed that narrative. Uh, you guys, again, if you saw the, the breakdowns, you know, really good time with that show. Great performance by Oscar Isaac, probably second to Wanda in regards to just character stuff. Uh, followed up by you know falcon and winter soldier uh what if and then hulk talk or uh, hulk um hawkeye is my last so as far as what's coming as you all can see we got miss marvel june 8th um like i said i'm not overly excited for it, but i'm really excited to learn more about makala um makala khan i think if this is her name correct me if i'm wrong um and, and learn about her whole world and her you know growing up and uh you know having her you know representing uh you know pakistan and all the stuff that she does so I'm, I'm looking forward to it i'm not overly excited for it i think that show's gonna have a lot more surprises than we anticipated um but i'm really excited to learn more about miss marvel and then She-Hulk. It's coming out in August. Again, I said what I liked about it. said what I didn't. I'm hopeful for it because obviously I, I, I really love what Marvel's doing. Uh, I'm very I'm very involved in, in Phase 4 so far. I'm loving the experimental stages that we're in. I'm loving the mismatch of like we don't know where we're going. You know, we got Kang coming. We got multiverses. We got, you know, lower level, ground level villains and, and threats going on. So it's a lot of stuff. Go Shang-Chi over here. We got Yelena over here. We got Hawkeye over here. Thanks or a Thor and you know all that cosmic stuff going on uh Guardian's still of course in the mix so I'm really enjoying the narrative of uh what we've gotten so far some some misses as you know as you would expect with a franchise with this long of a run uh but for the most part they they're doing their damn thing and I'm really hopeful for Miss Marvel 
for She-Hulk. Um, and of course, the movies that we're getting for the rest of the year with Thor, Love and Thunder and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Um, so yeah, Marvel, I still have faith in you. But that CGI in the Hulk, he's dead to me. He's dead to me, I tell you. Uh, but yes, we are we're, we're approaching two hours. Uh, I'm going to get to these last little comments again. Any final questions, comments, concerns? Uh, what's coming up the rest of the week? um <clears throat> atlanta season three episode 10 which michael if you're still in here another show i recommend i think you see you, you haven't watched atlanta it's, it's a great show man it's a really great show and i oh my goodness michael there's a there's a there's a there's a the new episode has a has an actor in it i don't want to spoil anything but ah oh man atlanta get on it mike get on it mike but anyway tomorrow we're talking the season finale of atlanta um friday i did see the first three i think they showed four episodes but i think i saw definitely three new episodes of uh, love death and robots but i'm gonna you know obviously re rewatch those episodes and, and watch all nine episodes on friday so expect a review for that later friday afternoon um or maybe even evening so that'll be out this friday um i'm trying to think there might be if i can find time there's a new um Alex Garland horror film A24 with uh Rory Kinnear and the incredible Jesse Buckley is coming out this Friday called Men. I did my spoiler free review. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess I'm caught in my throat. I did my spoiler free review earlier this week, which you all can check out. But that ending is something. Uh, and I have some thoughts on it. So if I can find time between now and Friday, or maybe even Saturday, I'm, I'm gonna I might do, I don't do too many of these, but it was just it's it stuck with me, the ending of that film. I might do like an ending not really explained because <laughs> there's a lot going on in that ending but neither know there i might try to squeeze that into the schedule uh and then sunday i'm gonna be doing a live uh recap discussion like i did last week for atlanta the finale and hopefully i can get brandon on that and a couple other people potentially uh so yeah those are what's on the horizon the following week got a uh another horror film i'll be talking about i'll finally be seeing top gun maverick um netflix hit me with the nope we ain't giving it to you so i'll see what's going on with stranger things but uh as of right now they've been they've been denying your boy uh but i'm, I'm definitely gonna watch it i'm re-watching stranger things uh right now I'm, I'm all the way up to season two episode two so expect a review for that and um yeah many more things to come but before we head out let me just catch some of these final comments um i'll stay on for another seven we'll go in even two hours so another six minutes and then we'll call in a night Moon Knight is left. Ooh, Mike. What? 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 Hey, respect it. Respect it, though. Respect it. Uh, but man, last, last. Loki was on point. Oh, I love Loki. You can't wait for season two. Uh, Nine Nerd Yards does incredible deep dives, reviews of Atlanta, and he just shouted you out and even showed a screenshot giving you props. Congrats on that. And again, on 25K. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I know what you're talking about because I am someone that. Uh, engages with, with YouTube. I don't just put out content and just call it a day. I, I look at stuff, so I'm very familiar with him. Um, and he, yes, you're so right. I've, I've, I've seen a couple of his reviews, very great uh, breakdowns and um, uh, Easter eggs. And he has really good comedic time. And I love when people can throw in their personalities and their reviews, uh, as well as having great intellectual, deep conversations. So yes, very familiar with him. I, I, that's super cool. I didn't know he shouted me out. Um, so yeah, that's super awesome. Um, who knows? Uh, I might reach out to him if uh, if I can find his social media accounts and, and see his his thoughts on the on the finale. So yeah, but that's super cool. And thank you so much for the uh, congratulatory congratulations on everything that we're doing here. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. Sasso. Okay, okay. I thought I don't know. Am I true? I thought you said you didn't see it, but uh, yes. Anyway, Michael, watch season two. It's the best season in my opinion, and season three has been fantastic. And the reason I want you to watch season two is because I want you to see season three, and I want you to see something they do in the finale i'll just leave it at that um congrats on achievement may you reach one million. Oh man let's speak that to existence thank you so much uh uh for the for the love and support was men messed up like hereditary yeah i don't know man hereditary f messed me up like I, I had sleep paralysis i'll never forget that that was like one of the few times i've ever had sleep paralysis when homegirl was in the corner of her son's room and this, the, the look when she was chopping her head oh man that that film messed me up um it didn't hit me to those levels per se but disgusting it's disgusting it's really disgusting it's disturbing 
it's great too because I love body horror and some really great body horror in men. But it didn't it didn't f me up psychologically like Hereditary did. But definitely check it out, guys. If you're a twenty four fan, Alex Garland fan, um, it's a it's a really interesting film. <laughs> New to the channel, uh, I think your commentaries are awesome. Winning time brought me oh, winning time so great. Loved winning time. Thank you, uh, thank you so much, uh, Cheryl, for for watching those. Uh, I miss that show. I can't wait for season two. But shout out to you for uh, checking out those reviews and being part of the community. Biblical, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I said in my review, yes, there's biblical undertones, but I'm not going to expand on that. But yes um yeah i know a lot of people are disappointed i i enjoyed it but it's not as good as season volume one that's for sure very disappointing oh really do they have a plan yeah they have a plan what are the rules that we want to? i'll give you that i'll give you that it seems a little listen low-key again this is the most significant low-key very important all the all the stuff we're seeing spider-man doctor strange all that's a result of low-key sylvie killing you know uh he who remains that's why all this madness is going on so it's gonna have a payoff trust me it's setting they're, they're playing a the long game you gotta remember playing the long game my friend uh oh you said on the whole time yeah that's what's up appreciate you uh about it season two was a fan um based on the three episodes i saw fantastic and david fincher makes his debut as an animator he directed his first animated uh short in the new season and it's awesome <laughs> it's awesome i'll just say that without getting into it i can't wait to watch the rest of them just want to drop by and say thank you thank you so much i hope you're doing well appreciate you uh what's making me want to <laughs> mike i'm gonna i'm gonna hit you up i'm probably hit you up on the dm and tell you well i don't want to spoil it i just want you to be shocked I just want you to be shocked i'll just say that miss summer yeah miss summer was a messed up one too um ari asher is sick but i'll watch anything yeah he is sick what is that film uh the 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 cat oh god the johnsons i think was the name of it gosh what the how do you think of that craziness i know a lot of people love hereditary but honestly i thought it was okay yeah i know a lot of people that, yeah listen i give a film a little bit of extra boost if it can affect me and that film affected me uh i'm not saying it's perfect uh but it it, it got me it got me it's a good one i love midsummer midsummer all righty well you know what we're wrapping it up i got invited to the screen i love that room complete oh man you listen it's coming out friday so you know not too far away from our, from uh, watching it, my friend but it was it was fun they had like a they did uh they showed like eight episodes together i think and it was like a mixture of like the greatest hits from volume one and two and then they showed three of the new ones and then they had a q a with uh uh the creators uh i can't think of the executive producer um but they had Tim Miller and uh, David Fincher there. It was a cool uh, Q and A. Um, I don't want spoilers, but I know you can. yeah, I can't. I don't want to spoil anything because uh, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. It was, it's tomorrow, and I'll have my review out tomorrow. It's like, I am, I am, Justin. Can't wait. So with that, again, thank you all for the support. Twenty five thousand subscribers. Let's continue to build this channel. Uh, all the likes, the shares, the comments, the the friendships that we've developed over the years. It, it means the world to me, and I hope you all look at this place as a place that you can have fun. You feel safe to to share your opinions. Your um, how you connect the stories, how it resonates with you. That's where I really wanted to build this down. The, the foundation of this channel is a fun, safe place. Uh, as Michael says, you know, his safe game. And I want this to be a safe spot for everyone and, and anyone on this channel. And, and so far, I think we've done that. And I want to continue to bring other creators on the platform to give their thoughts and opinions on the stuff we love and so on and so forth. So again, uh, 25,000. Here's uh, to 25 more thousand to all y'all out there showing love and support to your boy. So on that note thank you again i uh, had a lot of fun tonight if you're watching the replay i uh, hope you enjoy the conversation we had i'll leave time codes for you know what we did in this uh, discussion tonight with all the different stuff we talked about so hope you all had fun i certainly did and i thank you again be safe out there keep an eye out for some more content coming soon and uh on that note take care everyone peace oh yeah hulk he's dead to me no more hulk <laughs> take